all right since my pc is not strong enough to record literally anything that uh, i consider fun to do on a computer like gaming and uh, fucking around with the blender i can't do both at the same time i've decided to just um challenge myself to write something with this writing prompt wheel <coughs> in under 30 minutes um, it will also be starring my loud ass keyboard. Like, look at this. See, it's so fucking loud. You could hear it right then and there, but it's fine. It's just a way for me to flex my mechanical keyboard. So let's get this started. Yeet. Even the internet thing is lagging. I don't think it, the frame rate is supposed to be this low. Hmm. Okay, if you could meet any fictional character from a book, who would it be? Okay, so it's a personal thing. Um. Okay, I'm going to give myself like five min five minutes to think about what I'm supposed to write. <coughs> Editor stroke. I lied. Do you really think I have the patience to wait five minutes to do nothing? I'll skip over this in post. And so I did. But first you gotta see me drink the fuck out of this cocoa. That's some good shit. Holy shit, I love cocoa. Five minutes is too long. I think I think it's enough. I'm going to fucking write about <coughs> hmm. I'm going to write about uh, Mikhail from Dragon Dragon Dragoon 3 or Dragon Guard 3 specifically uh, the boy version from Sino Alice why? I don't fucking know oh uh, shit oh uh, shit I did not mean to do that I did not mean to do that Let's do this, my dudes. I'm going to do a, what we call a dramatic reading after all of this. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. So you know, you won't have to wait 30 fucking minutes for me to finish writing. Insert transition here. Fuck, I forgot the word. Ah. Twelve minutes. I should probably end this soon. Holy shit, I fucking did it, dude. Hmm, I did it. I forced myself to actually finish something in 30 fucking minutes. Uh, let me just... Let me just look something up. Yoink. Word. Oh. Yes. I see. So in the span of 30 minutes, I've written 963 words. I probably could do better, but I suppose that's fine. Also, although I fucking psyched you, I have no intention of doing a dramatic reading of all of this shit. I'm just going to post this like, I don't fucking know in the description or whatever. 
I would like to talk about um, fucking Dragon Guard 3 and Sinoalis. So I actually haven't played Sinoalis. So if any of you have played Sinoalis, you might find my description to be um, what you say completely fucking inaccurate. But I can't really help it because I wanted to write about Mikhail. So in the original story um, of Dragon Guard 3, Mikhail was this fucking really young baby dragon who was still really friggin' huge. It was so powerful too. And what I find interesting about him is that despite operating in a world as bleak and as fucked up as Dragon Guard 3 is, if any of you have played that game, he still maintains an optimism that, you know, is extremely endearing. Even though Zero, who is his master, who is his master, like, who is the person he's bound to, I don't want to go into a really long tirade about Dragon Guard lore, but just, just know that he's bound to Zero. So she abuses him a lot, like, far too much. She, she fucking stabs him. She yells at him. There was even a scene where she yells at him so hard that he fucking pissed into a river. Yeah, he, a dragon pisses his pants in that game. And it's a very good game. Uh, I hope the remake comes out because right now trying to play it is like trying to watch a movie on PowerPoint. It's not very fun. It's very laggy. It's very buggy. And it's still, it's still good. It's still good. If only for the story. It's like one of those games which... You would definitely enjoy more if you watched a playthrough instead of trying to play it yourself. So I really like to write him because there's just something admirable about seeing someone operate in a world that is so edgy, but he's like extremely happy. He's he's extremely wholesome. He keeps crying whenever he, he fights another dragon because it's his skin. He's a holy dragon, he's like the, the strongest dragon, so even though he's like five years old, he's still big and strong and is capable of saving the world while also inadvertently sending it into chaos. Yeah, Dragon uh, Guard, Guard 3 does not have a good ending, but I won't spoil it too much. I'm just going to talk. We were just talking about Mikhail, and I really like him. So, in this, in this little fucking story I wrote, I did make it so that I, like the character version of me, doesn't know who the fuck he is. But if I met him in real life, I probably would fucking go up to him, hug him, and never let go. It's like, he deserves it, man. He's been through a lot. And he's going to go through even more because in Sinnoh Alice, it's his boy version. He's not a dragon in that game. He's a boy. His name is Boy Mikhail. And Sinnoh Alice is not a very happy game. It actually... It's already, it's already revealed in the beginning that the only way the game could end is when every character in the story, which is... Um, Every character from the fucking fairy tales and of course near Automata and Dragon Guard series because why not? I guess Yoko Taro really wanted to shoehorn those characters in, probably for the money. It makes a lot of profit. But anyway, uh, the the characters there are basically based off of you know uh, popular fairy tales. Like the main character is Alice from Wonderland, and another character is Snow White, which is also my. F my favorite character from the game, aside from Mikhail. So the only way they can, the only way it can end is apparently if they all kill each other in the end. So see, so putting Mikhail there is just kind of a dick move because he's already suffered a lot, and in the end he's probably going to be forced to kill the people, which he would try to befriend, and would actually fight alongside while they now still have a common enemy. Because, you know, in the future, when they don't have a common enemy, they're going to start killing each other. And that's probably going to be completely fucking rough. Because considering how emphatic the boy dragon is, 
to other dragons who are already trying to kill him outright, how much more difficult would it be if he was actually trying to kill the people which he's grown close to, you know? And of course, uh, Mr. Taro would never give us a happy ending because he's a piece of shit and he never does that. And we all love him for it. There's no such thing as a good ending in uh, his works, basically. Well, uh, as time goes on, the, the endings have actually gotten less edgy. With Near Automata, the like, last ending is actually quite hopeful. It could be read as both... Um, it could be read as both f fucking foreshadowing a loop, like them telling that everything is just going to repeat, but it also it could also be read as there's going to be a change this time. Uh, you know, I'm not going to repeat uh, the the two the two pods conversation at the end of the game, but basically that's the main gist. So it's possible that uh, Yoko Taro does a reverse M Night Shyamalan twist and actually gives us a good ending, but I doubt it. I'm probably going to write more fan fiction about Mikhail after the entire game comes out because if, if he's not given a happy ending, I'm just going to take it into my own hands. But yeah, Mikhail is a capable fighter. Uh, Zero teaches him a lot of bad shit like how to murder people. And he's very good at that. He's very good at killing people. He just doesn't want to. So my suspicion of him is warranted because he's a very uh, he's a very dangerous boy. But only if a you make an enemy out of zero, and b you make like you don't you don't you don't accept his friendship. He's going to be a dangerous boy. You should do that. He won't hate you for it. He'll just feel really sad, and that's even worse because you just made him feel sad. I can I can actually just continue talking for like fucking ten more minutes, but I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm going to end it now because it's going to be a fucking hell of a pain to edit. Yeah, yeah, I psyched you. There is no dramatic reading. There was never any dramatic reading. I would have done a dramatic reading if I wrote more dialogue, but I didn't. So I shot myself in the foot with that one. So yeah, thanks for thanks for um, deciding that I'm a good person to waste your time on.